Hi, it's Sneaking It's Back. Tonight, I've got Tony for Lucid Links. And I'm not going to really talk about Lucid Links too much because too many people have done it. But I'm going to talk more about Cairo, the Cairo dock. Nice it is too. Nice new one. A lot, lot better than the last one. It doesn't do stupid things like the last one did. So I'm going to the Firefox browser. Ah, nice little effect there. Just make sure it all works anyway. We'll do a little bit on Lucid Links, but not too much. Don't really need to do too much. There's been too much done in the past few months over the alphas and betas. So basically you know what it looks like anyway. So I've gone to the BBC homepage just to make sure it all comes out nice and hunky-dory. And sure it does. Look, it's lovely jubbly. What more can I say? It works super. So we'll get rid of that. We'll go down more to the dock. Oh, Gwibber. I'll open my Gwibber up. Gwibber is a social networking client, which I've only just started to use, really. I mean, I've had Twitter for a while. I have got other stuff, but, you know... I've actually started using it. It's quite good, actually, really, when you think about it. So, yeah, I like it. So I'm going to send a little message, as you do, from Gwibba. I mean, some of you have already got this already, so it doesn't really matter. But if you haven't, it's all in board. So if you've got Facebook, Twitter, and all the others, it all comes into one client. So that's yeah, really, really good if you're into that sort of thing. Me, myself, I'm not really. I mean, I do a bit of Twitter, and that's about it when it comes down to it. Anyway, back then to the bar, I've got DVD, Avidemix. Graphics. I've put GIMP on. Now, why I left it out, I'll never know, but maybe just to save some space on the CD, maybe. The main shortcuts. All my stuff here, all my hard drive. G menu is just your main menu, really. It's a nice way of accessing it. As you can see, I've got rid of a couple of the bars anyway. A DD share, rhythm box. Oh, my baby, I love it. Log out, pulse audio, trash, and compass icon. Which is rather nice, don't you think? As you can see, I've got my Cairo dock on the right-hand side, just for a change. But hey, we're going to configure it and do some bits and bobs and show you what it can do. So there you go, behaviour. So at the moment, I've got on the right of my screen. Keep the below windows. I'm going to change to the bottom. We're just going to move it around for you. See how, see how easy it is. It is really, really easy to use now. The last one I had for Karmic wasn't so easy. It had a little few bugs, but I lived with it because I liked it. Now, the taskbar, you can get to use, like, Noon. Books get to look like GNOME, Windows, or Mac, but I've just left it. No, I like GNOME most of the time when I'm not using other stuff. Now, appearances where you've got lots and lots of stuff for you to do, as you can see. Now, the view I've got as curve to start with, but you get rainbow, right? that's how the dock would come up. You get parabolic, that's quite fun actually if you like some stuff on your desktop. You've got default, <coughs> boring, curvacy, carousel. <laughs> I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll apply that. I'll have a little play with that. Now, this just ain't for me, although some of you may like the little desktop candy that it gives you. You may like it, you may not. But hey, it's alright, but it just isn't for me, I'm afraid. <laughs> but I like it. Go back to configure. We'll go back to appearances. Um, there we go. Well, what do we get? Uh, curve. Yeah, we'll go back to my curve. I like my curve, it's fine. I like it. Now this is just a simple way of doing Cairo Dock. There is an advanced menu that you can use. And there's been little favourite penguins up there, as you see. There's lots and lots of stuff you can add. Nice, nice, nice. Same as Docky, really. Which features you like Docky or Cairo? It's up to you. So I'll apply my penguin. There you can see him down there, left-hand side, doing somersaults. You can actually play with him on the screen if you really want to. But like this, all right. My kids love it, though. They like, like little penguins walking around. As for themes, there's lots and lots of new themes that didn't come with the old one, which is even better for me. So I like it, I like it. Nice, nice, nice. But yeah, that's really, really good. On the whole, I like 1004. It's a lot quicker, the boot ups are quicker, and the shutdowns are quicker. Seems to be quite a bit more stable as well, and lots of new programs I like using actually work. I'll start up GIMP. Do you see what I mean? Look. This is on my test machine, which is a Pentium 4, 3 gig, which means it only works at 2.8. I've got a gig of RAM in it, and I've got about five distros on it at the moment. I just keep adding and adding, just to test and stuff like that, so you can see what I've got to do. I've been quiet for a couple of days, haven't I? But hey, I'd have some time off, you know what I mean? Anyway, Tano 4 with Cairo, I really, really like, and I think you'll do. So, go download Cairo, give it a go if you don't like it, because I'll get rid of it, sneakily.